Yo, what is up, guys? You're watching Epic Pokemon TCG, and today's video, guys, we're going to be doing the whole if you take two theme decks and put them together, what can you make with it? And this video is going to be featuring the Soaring Storm theme deck, which is aka the Dragonite theme deck. Now, I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I wasn't sure what I was going to think of this deck, and I built this, and it is actually a whole lot of fun. Now, one of the things I do actually want to talk about real quick with this deck, though, is my one fisherman count. It, again, it's personal preference for you guys, uh, but really, if you want to add in a second Fisherman, you can. Uh, I don't know if it's just because like maybe sometimes it's situational and I've just been getting unlucky, but I, I don't know. There, there are times where I've kind of wanted a second Fisherman in this deck, but you know, again, that's up to you guys. But I'm going to be honest with you. This is actually a really fun deck, and I've actually considered even like making a real one, I would say, with cards outside of the theme deck. Now, cards you can add into this deck to make it a little better, of course. Obviously, standing out immediately is Rare Candy. Uh, another card that I thought would be pretty cool to actually do over the Fisherman, potentially, would be Brock's Grit. I think that's still legal. I don't know. I, I, I think. I think, guys. <laughs> I'm still learning this myself. But anyway, moving on. Um... But yeah, Rare Candy, Brock's Grit, uh, and then, of course, like, honestly, any cards moving forward that, like, are just really good uh, searching cards. Uh, one of the cards that actually got mentioned to me was Mysterious Treasure. Uh, you know, it's just it's something out there you could potentially throw in this deck. But nonetheless, this is actually a pretty sweet deck. I really enjoy playing this one. It is a lot of fun. It's not the best, but it's just, like, the cards are really cool and just, like, what you can do with them. So we're going to go ahead and hop right into it here, guys. Take a look at Dragonite, the... Uh, you know, the focal point of the theme deck it has the ability Hurricane Charge. Once during your turn before you attack, you may attach a Water Energy card, an Electric Energy card, or one of each from your hand to one or to your Pokemon in any way you like. So that essentially means if you have a Water and Electric Energy in your hand, you can use this ability and get some additional energy out onto the field. Also, it has Dragon Impact for a Water Energy, a Electric Energy, and two Colorless Energy. It does 170, and you discard three energy from this Pokemon. This is a big attack that you can just use if you might need it. Uh, I opted for a 444 line just to try to make the line thicker so that way you can get your Dragonite stuff out. Also having these Pokemon and Pokemon communication in this deck is really clutch. Uh, but the Dratini allows you to have free retreat if it has a water energy on it and then jump on you know just to attack. And then Destructive Whirlpool I don't think you'll ever be in a situation to use this but it is there if you need to do 70 damage. Uh, but Pokemon communication is in here, and so like just like the like a bunch of different Pokemon being in this deck really helps you out with Pokemon communication. You just reveal a Pokemon from your hand, and then you put it back in your deck, and then you search your deck for a Pokemon and put it in your hand. So that means if you have like a Dragonair, Dratini, or Dragonite in your hand that you're not using, and you need like a Pidgeotto or one of the Genies, you can play this card down and just get some you know some extra stuff out into the field. It's actually pretty nice. And speaking of the Genies, so Tornadus and Thunderous, I actually really like these cards, and of course these are like a a couple of my favorite legendaries. I like the genies all together. Landorus, Tornadus, Thunderous, they're all pretty sexy. Uh, but Tornadus has Knuckle Punch for, you know, it's a single colorless energy. And then Thunderous Tornado, it does 80. And if Thunderous is on your bench, this attack does 20 to each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. So essentially what I try to do with Tornadus is I'll usually put my water energies down on them. Now you can kind of mess with the ratio of energies. It just really depends on what you guys want to do. I opted for more electric than I did uh, water energy just because of the fact that Thunderous is in this deck and he requires two electric energy to do his attack. Um, I actually do a little bit of a goof, sorta. I thought that Raging Thunder said you do 120 and 40 to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. I misread that. I'm dyslexic, by the way, uh, if you didn't know that. Uh, but it does 120 and 40 to one of your bench Pokemon. Now, that sucks. Yes, I'll, I'll admit, 40 extra damage on one of your Pokemon is definitely something you do not want. But 40 damage, or yeah, 40 damage, you know, it's not too bad. You can throw it on like a Pidgeotto or a Dragonite that you're not using or something like that. You just got to be really wary of where you're going to put that 40 damage. Uh, but it does do 120, which isn't bad. But its first attack does 20 damage, and if Tornadus is on your bench, this attack does 50 more damage. And you guys can tell the arts kind of match up a little bit with them. But yeah, for you know, just two like two energy, you can do 70 damage. It's not bad, and that's going to be kind of the attackers you're going to use in this deck for the most part. We also have Pidgeotto in here. Pidgeotto is actually a really cool card. It has Air Mail. Uh, once during your turn, before you attack, you may look at the top two cards of your deck and put one of them into your hand and put the other card on the bottom of your deck. This will just kind of allow you to add a little bit of consistency to your deck, kind of allow you to you know just like cycle through some cards a little faster. Uh, Pidgeotto is actually a really really nice addition to this deck. I really like it. 
Uh, we're going to do a 2-2 two -two line of that, three of the genies a piece, and then we, of course, have the 4-4-4 four -four -four line, the big, thick, nasty line of Dragonite. And now for the supporter cards, as you guys can tell, I just kind of went with like a really generic route. Of course, we went with four Cynthia and four Lily, obviously, because those are like the two main supporters in Pokemon, I would say. Uh, you know, and, and then, of course, we do have the one Fisherman in here. You put four basic energy cards from your discard pile into your hand. So that essentially means you can just play those babies down, or at least three of them, if you just have one Dragonite on the field, along with your manual attachment for the turn. And then we also have energy recycle system. This is just essentially a rescue stretcher for your energy. You can choose one of these effects and use them. You can put a basic energy card from your discard pile into your hand, or you can shuffle three basic energy cards from your discard pile into your deck. So that means this is just a good way for you to get your energy out. And if you have a fully set up genie and it goes down, or if you just use Dragonite's attack one time, that means three energy are going to be hitting the discard pile anyway. So these trainers are going to be really clutch. And also opted for two Tate and Liza, just to add a little bit of consistency to it. Also on top of that, it does have a switching effect. And you never know when you might need that along with your two switch. Uh, and then also we have three Pokemon Fan Club. This will just allow you to get your um, Pidgeys, your Genies, your Dratinis. Also, you can Pokemon Fan Club and then Pokemon Communication away one of your basics you don't need later on. You know, that's definitely an option. Also, it'll thin your deck out as well, which is really cool. Uh, you know, kind of help you hit certain stuff with Aramel. Uh, and then... Let's see that's yeah to round out the energy i kind of i've been going back and forth with these i have uh, 10 electric and six water in here you can go back and forth whichever one you want to do whatever you feel comfortable with it's really up to you this is just kind of what i've been monkeying with it seems to be working but yeah i actually have a game for you guys so you can see what the deck does so you know you can guys see how it plays and everything so we're going to go ahead and hop to that hope you enjoy it and i'll see you there Alrighty, looks like we're going to be going up against Cuck. I, Kulk, you didn't hear that. Anyway, so yeah, it's one of the early versions of this deck. Hopefully uh, this goes well. But yeah, honestly, like there is just a different variety of things you can do uh, with a couple team decks. It really just kind of depends on like personal preference or like what you uh, want to do with the deck. You know, like whatever you might, you know, just cards that you enjoy. But we got a couple cool things here. So, looks like we're going up against Blastoise. Now, for this deck, I just kind of went with more of like the genie focused uh, strategy, along with, of course, like a heavy, thick Dragonite line, as you guys saw. And that's just because I really like the genie Pokemon in this deck. I think they're actually. Uh, pretty good. I think they're they're actually like pretty decent cards uh, for the most part. And you can get like if you get Dragonite set up, obviously you can just kind of get them set up pretty quickly. You just need like three energy in your hand, which you know of course yes sounds easier said than done, but still nonetheless I think it's something that is definitely uh, definitely doable. All right, but we have like some pretty good stuff here, so I'm gonna go ahead and evolve into Pidgeotto. I'm going to attach a water energy so I can kind of conserve those electric energies for later on. And I'm gonna go ahead and retreat here. And now I can just play Lily, get myself some extra cards. And we actually end up drawing a Dragonair, which is pretty nice. And I still have Airmail to use, so let's check our playmat here. So we do have a couple, or, yeah, a couple energy in our hand uh, that we can use for later on. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the Cynthia just so I get myself a fresh hand of six. It's not gonna really hurt too bad next turn if I actually just go ahead and you know, shuffle that stuff in. Now the ideal situation for next turn would be I top deck a Dragonite. Uh, however, my opponent, his deck is probably gonna be going at a lot faster of a rate simply because of the fact that I don't have rare candy. He might, I don't know. Uh, but it looks like my opponent is going to be using Beacon, though. So this is actually looking like a pretty decent uh, run so far. Now, unfortunately, Pokemon, for some odd reason, just don't make a water Pokemon necessarily anymore that's weak to electric. It seems like the common thing is grass now, which sucks because, of course, I do have Thunderous in my deck, and I can't use uh, my electric weakness to my advantage. But honestly, like, I've always really liked the Genie Pokemon. I don't know what it is. Like, the Genie Pokemon, to me, have always been a really cool Pokemon, you know? And I actually top-decked Dragonite. I don't believe it. I actually top-decked it. Holy crap. So I get to use the ability of Hurricane Charge here. And I'm going to attach a Water and Electric and put them on my Tornadus, which is pretty cool. So there we go. Just a little bit of energy acceleration. And now I can actually use this Lily, which is pretty cool. I wasn't actually expecting to top deck that. And I can go ahead and use my air mail so I can get another tornado. So that's pretty cool. So I can go ahead and play that down. And I'm going to go ahead and attach energy to it. 
just for future reference. But now I have a fully a fully set up Pokemon. If I had Thunderous on the bench, I would I would have been able to do something else. Obviously, uh, with the secondary ability, I would have uh, been able to kind of weaken some Pokemon. Okay, I apologize, guys. I had to close my door for a second because it was about to get loud outside. Uh, but yeah, so we took a nice little decent lead there. My opponent does have Blastoise out on the field, but I was able to get rid of that Alolan Vulpix before Alolan Ninetales GX came down, which is pretty good because that thing can be a nuisance. But, you know, honestly, like, as far as, like, the next format goes, I'm really excited to see how that all goes. You know, I'm going to be playing a lot here on Pokemon TCG Online, kind of learning some decks, seeing, you know, like, maybe, like, pick up on some ideas that I might see and, you know, get you guys some decks going. Uh, the only thing is, is I really need to get some more cards from Unified Minds. But, you know, for now, I'm going to be trying to crank out uh, the content that I can. I'm hoping, though, that I can actually pull a Thunderous out at some point. Now, if my commentary sounds a little awkward, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'm going to be I'm going to be honest with you guys. I I just don't really do live comms very much. I don't know what it is. I I just don't do them. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I need to kind of get over that though. But my opponent is going to be playing Ultra Ball, so he's going to be discarding a rare candy and a it looks like a, I, I can't remember. I wasn't paying attention. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I was looking off in La La Land. <laughs> Uh, but okay, so my opponent has a Lola Ninetales coming. That's unfortunate. Hopefully he doesn't hit heads here. Please don't hit heads. Cool, he hit tails. So that means I'm going to be able to go up a couple prizes here, and I'm going to try to maybe get something going. Now, I wish I had a Thunderous down, but, you know, what can you do? Now, I can play this Pokemon Fan Club and get, like, a Thunderous set up, maybe. I think that's actually what I'm going to do. So I'm going to grab Thunderous, and we'll go ahead and grab a Dratini, I guess, just for like future. And that means next turn I'll, I might potentially be able to get down to Dragonite, which would be pretty cool. So I'm going to go ahead and attach here. Uh, should I, I think I'm going to save this for later, uh, but I can go ahead and Hurricane Charge this single Electric Energy down onto my Thunderous. So you know, just in case. So I'm going to save this uh, energy recycle system for later. I don't feel like getting one back right now is going to be worth it. So I'm going to go ahead and hit that for 80 and then 20 to each of those, just to kind of soften up his Pokemon a little bit. Now, the bad thing about Alolan Ninetales is it, it can be a pain, man. It can definitely be a huge hassle. So we're going to have to see what we can do. Now, the, the probably the most awesome thing about Dragonite is just it has this Dragon Impact attack. You never know. I might be able to pull that out at some point. I was kind of hoping I could get a little more damage down onto that Alolan Ninetales, but I couldn't pull Thunderous out, unfortunately. We'll just have to see. Uh, more than likely, though, Tornadus is going to go down here because uh, I think Blizzard Edge is going to be able to knock me out. Yeah, 100% Blizzard, Blizzard Edge is going to be able to knock me out here. Uh, my opponent plays down a Jirachi Prism Star. And gets that Blastoise back there set up. But yeah, honestly, this has actually been a cool little deck. I have really enjoyed playing this. Uh, just, I like the Genie route that I took. I think that is probably the better route to take. That's just my personal opinion, though. Uh, what do I do here? I'm just going to send up Thunderous. Why not? I might have to try to force him into using his GX attack. Now, while I don't want to necessarily do that... It's better just to get it out of the way now. So I'm going to go ahead and do... Yeah, there we go. I, I, how I play this, basically, is I like to really conserve my uh, electric energies. That's just what I do. Uh, because I do have Thunderous, and that's usually why I'll throw the water energies down onto my uh, Tornadus, you know, just, just in case. But I'm actually getting some pretty good uh, hands here. Uh, I'm actually going to... I have a Dragonair already on the field, so I'm just going to take that switch. You never know when you might need that. And I can actually Pokemon Communication. So I'm going to Pokemon Communication away this Pidgey for another Thunderous. Just because you can actually... I'm going to try to weaken up that Blastoise back there, just in case that's not really necessarily a huge issue going forward. And if you hear some rumbling in the background, that is a very loud trash can being brought up the driveway. So, let's see. What can I do here? We're going to do this. We're going to hit that for 70. Put that to 90. So, if he does use his GX attack, that means I'm not going to get knocked out. So, I feel like that might be the better option there. And, you know, it just kind of makes that a little less relevant. 
So the cool thing is, is I'll actually be able to get two Dragonite on the field. Uh, so far, my field is actually set up pretty nicely. I think this is the best route to go. Uh, you know, like set up like a heavy Dragonite line, get the Genies and get the Pidgeotos. I actually really like Pidgeotto. I think Pidgeotto is a absolutely sexy card. Love Pidgeotto. So we're going to see a switch coming down here, and my opponent is going to bring up this... Uh, oh. <laughs> That's not good, is it? <laughs> so yeah, he's going to be bringing up that Jirachi, and he's going to be using Parastream. Luckily, I have Switch in my hand. What is this nonsense? I see Drampas, I see Blastoise, I see all kinds of stuff in this deck. We see a Pokegear come down. That's actually a card I wish they would have included in this deck. That is such a good card. But my opponent is going to pull a Lily there. And to be honest with you guys, I'm actually curious what you think about you know the two decks that come out of Unified Minds. So I'm actually going to go ahead and hopefully I can pull a supporter off of this airmail and get some uh, something going. Unfortunately, I do not. So that's going to be an issue. I'm going to take Thunderous just in case. Now, oh goodness. I could do like a stupid double switch move. That might be cool, right? <laughs> We're going to do that. Actually, uh... We could just manually retreat. It's fine. I, I don't want to waste that switch and then regret it later. Because we can just throw this back down. That's fine. So I'm going to go ahead and Raging Thunder. And let's see. I I don't really... I'm not worried about this Alola Ninetales right now. Just because if I'm able to get another attacker set up, I can just knock it out. Oh, I do damage to myself. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. I didn't know that. Okay, I thought it was 40 to one of my opponent's Pokemon. Wow. <laughs> Oh, man. Okay. Well, that's definitely a kicker, ain't it? Oh, man. I thought that was like, I do 120 and I do 40 to something. I was like, jeez. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to be careful with that attack now, aren't I? It's fine, though. I guess in all else, I can just... Well, no. Well, Pidgey, Pidgeotto might be a target. It just depends on what I have on my field. But yeah, my bad, guys. I thought that actually did uh, 120 and then 40 to one of my opponent's Pokemon. I do apologize. It's okay, though. We all make mistakes. We're human. I'm not too worried about it. I guess it's best if I mess up instead of you guys when you're trying to play these decks. <laughs> yeah. Really, like, this video is kind of all about just showing you what you can make, what the deck can do, you know, and show you that, like, if you go to the store, you know, you... But I think Dexter is definitely an option. So, oh yeah, absolutely. My uh, my poor little Thunderous is going to be going down this turn. <laughs> absolutely going to be going down. Well, now the only issue with, well, I guess it's not all bad. We're still we're still in a good spot. I'm gonna have to hope that Pidgeotto can come up clutch here. Okay, well, I did top deck in energy. That's always good. And I have a Cynthia. That's nice. Okay, so I can go ahead and play down. Well, actually, I actually don't want to play down this Thunderous. Or... Okay, I guess I am playing down that Thunderous. I didn't mean to do that. I'm going to Hurricane Charge both of these energies down to Tornadus. And then I'm actually going to be able to Cynthia. And then I might be able to pull some more energy out and just kind of get my stuff set up a little bit. I'm actually going to potentially set up well, should I actually try to set up a Dragonite, or should I try to set up something else? Ah, oh, man, because like once I send up Dragonite, I'm I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna hold on to the energy. It's fine. So I'm gonna do 100. I'm gonna do 80, excuse me, and then 20 to everything. So there we go. Just to kind of soften up some stuff there. Now, if he does send up the Alola Ninetales and he does indeed attack with that and using the GX attack, it's not too big of a deal. Uh, I'll still be able to hit it. And he would, you know, use his GX attack for the turn. So really, you know, I'll survive it. So it's all good. I'm trying to make sure that, like, my damage output with this thing is a little smart. But, uh-oh. I remember that Snorlax is really good. I can't remember off the top of my head what it does. But I remember it's actually pretty good. I'm just going to take a gander at it. Okay, so that won't help him too much. But he's probably going to knock out my Tornadus here. Uh, if I can pull a Fisherman out, that would actually be pretty good. So he's going to Berserk. All right, so I just got to do uh, 100 damage. 
Yeah, I just got to do 100 damage. That's, f that's not too bad. Uh, I guess I'm going to lead with that. If I do actually have to hurt one of my Pokemon, I might just hit a Pidgey, Pidgeotto. Because um, I don't want to knock something out. So I'm going to go ahead and use Hurricane Charge. Oh, yeah, duh. Excuse me. <laughs> my bad, guys. Okay, so we're going to attach to Thunderous. And then we're going to go ahead and place. I actually want to see what this deck could do if it had, like... If it was, like, a real deck, you know what I mean? Like, if it was something that had, like, rare candies and all kinds of stuff in it. I, I'm really curious to see how this would play out. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and put back to Jatini. I probably should have put back to Dragonair, but it's okay. So, I, you know, just so I can grab Tornadoes. Uh, now, if the first attack did some more damage, that would be cool. But it doesn't. <laughs> well, I guess I could have had an entire... Uh, Dragonite line in my hand again. I don't I don't really see the need to get three of them out, but you know. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and Raging Thunder, and I guess I'm going to... You know, actually, I, I can I can do this. It's fine. I can just hit that. It's all good. So again, like I said, if he does indeed bring up his Alolan Ninetales and uses his GX attack, I'm still safe. Uh... Really, that would probably be a really dumb option on his part. Yeah, I, I, my guess would probably just be send up Blastoise at this point. Yeah, so he's going to Hydro Tackle me, and that's going to damage him, actually. So he's going to be... Interesting. Okay. Now, I'm trying to think how I want to play this out. So he has 90 HP on him. So I'm going to have to hit with either... Yeah, so I'm going I'm to send up Thunderous and hope maybe I can top deck something here. Okay, so I did get a Water Energy. Uh, let's see what I can get on my Aramel here. Uh, oh, goodness. Okay, so I can... Like, yeah, I can do this. I guess I'm going to Cynthia. I'm at, actually, I was actually thinking, like, you know, is Two Fishermen a good option or not? And Oh, man, of course I would draw the electric energy and the fisherman. Oh, my goodness. Mm. Oh, that hurts. I'm actually 20 short. Yeah, I'm 20 short. Ah, oh, I needed 20 more damage. That's unfortunate. So now I gotta hope he doesn't knock out my thunderous, because if he, if he can't knock out my thunderous, oh man, please don't knock out my thunderous. Oh gosh. Okay. This is a very very. Oh okay. Never mind. I win. <laughs> okay. Cool. GG. GG, my dude. Alrighty, so we're going to go ahead and Hurricane Charge, put two energies onto Thunderous, and then we're going to retreat him. Yeah. We're going to retreat him. Oh, oh, okay. Well, well actually, hang on. just in case I'm wrong here, we're going to do that. Because... <laughs> We all see what happens when Dylan tries to read. <laughs> okay, there we go. All right, so we got the GG. Oh, I can't send him GG. Oh, dang it. Oh, well, that's fine. I was too busy thinking. But there we go, guys. That is the deck. Hopefully you did enjoy the video. That is just a little showcasing of what you can do with two Soaring Storm theme decks. I think this deck is actually pretty sweet, uh, just with the genies and such in it. We also capped out at 1,000 damage exactly, which is pretty cool. Shout out to my opponent. It was a great game. But if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you give a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. We are on the road to 1,000 subscribers, and that would be absolutely awesome if we can hit it. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. I love you, and this is Epic Pokemon TCG signing out.